Greetings, beautiful creatures. First, we're gonna start off with primer. And I'm using NYX Shine Killer because I have really oily skin. Using a primer isn't always necessary, but it helps your makeup stick to your skin and stay on longer. This foundation is probably gonna be the most expensive product that I use in this video. It's Kat Von D's Lock It Foundation. I do recommend that you do use a foundation and I do recommend that it is full coverage foundation, especially if you have a lot of blemishes or bad skin like I do. A cheaper alternative would be using Mary Kay, although I do not know if Mary Kay is cruelty free or vegan. And I also recommend using either Kat Von D or Becca because they're oil free and they don't cause breakouts. And with the remainder of the foundation on the beauty sponge, I'm just making sure that I get rid of the streakiness or any splotchy parts that I may have missed. And for my highlight in this video, I'm using a $1 e.l.f. concealer. Highlighting is one of my favorite parts of makeup because I always draw random shapes and objects on my face, but I kind of keep the same premise when I do it. Depending on where you highlight and how you highlight really depends on you, how you want to look and your face shape and where you want lights to be attracted to. Now I'm just going in with the Damp Beauty Blender to blend everything out. The Beauty Blender I'm using too is just a generic one that you can find at a local beauty supply store. I believe it was $2. Then I decided that I wanted more light towards the middle of my nose, my forehead, and underneath my eyes. So I added more concealer and blended this out as well. So this makeup palette's really expensive, but you don't have to get the same one. I'm just using the dark brown eyeshadow out of it as a contour color. And um, what I'm doing is I'm going in my cheeks and my temples with the dark brown, blending it out as best as I can. I'm slimming my nose and making my cut crease appear a little bit deeper. The way you contour your nose also truly depends on you and your nose shape. The way I do it makes it appear a little bit slimmer. Also I put a little bit more shadows behind my nostril on my left side and I'll also typically darken the front corner of my nostril on my right side to make my nose appear more symmetrical. You can just experiment with what works with you the best, try different things out. I also go in with black eyeshadow in the corners of my hairline to make my face shape appear more feminine. Lastly, I'm going in with Ben Nye Neutral Set. You can use any type of translucent powder. It doesn't have to be this one. And this is just going to take the shininess out of everything we did and smooth out a lot of the highlighting and contouring we did and get rid of some of those harsh lines in the eyeshadow. Next, I'm just going in with a matte liquid lipstick and creating a bold straight line all the way down the middle of my lips. This part doesn't really have to be completely perfect or symmetrical. I always go in with a black afterwards and try to fix and straighten up the lines with it. The reason why I'm using a matte liquid too is because it dries a lot faster and it stays on without smearing and moving around for this type of style on your lips. Also, it was at this moment that I realized that I forgot to put my piercings back in. But at first, I'm just gonna put in my septum piercings and wait for my lips to completely dry before I put the rest of my lip rings in. And next, I'm just using a MAC pen to start the first draft of my eyebrows. It doesn't have to be a MAC pen, obviously. You can use a cheaper alternative because this is not what I'm gonna use as the final product for my eyebrow. Next, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eyeliner to start filling in this line that we did and creating a better shape around what we started. I like this drugstore liquid eyeliner because it dries matte and not shiny like some others do. And it also stays on a lot longer and holds up against sweat. Also, come to the realization that your drawn on eyebrows aren't always gonna be 100% perfect and that's totally okay. Just try to get them to match as close as possible. Okay, now we're at the end of the first draft. And at this point, you'll realize that one of your eyebrows is vegan, exfoliates and goes to the gym every day, while the other one is just an eyebrow. And this is where we come in for the second draft to do our reconstructive surgery. See, much better. Not even, but on fleek. Next, I'm going in with a red water activated body paint I believe the one I used was Maron Paradise to create the X on my forehead. And you guys are always asking me, Angel Nightmare, why do you always put an X in the middle of your forehead? It's a nihilistic representation of how I feel I don't belong in this world created for people with closed minds. Next, I'm going in with Ben Nye Clown White 
to go over my waterline to create a drastic large eye look but if you want to save money just get a simple one dollar or two dollar milk pencil either from a drugstore or a basic beauty supply store also check the description box below for the list of the products that i use i'll also list the things that you can do to lower the amount of money that you spend on your makeup if you're on a budget and for this part i'm duping red eyeshadow with a red lip liner because my shiny eyeshadow palette has been borrowed by somebody that doesn't talk to me anymore so i don't have any vibrant colors to use at the moment or any money to replace it so we're using this and we're blending it out with a cheap brush to give it an eyeshadow look obviously colored effects lenses and shaved eyebrows greatly increase the creepiness factor or the spooky factor of this look now I'm going in with the L'Oreal liquid eyeliner this is my other favorite drugstore liquid eyeliner except for this one when it dries it stays shiny and this is my pathetic attempt at doing a small wing I didn't do too bad on this but I'm usually really horrible at doing wings and it takes me a long time to do it but I'm keeping it simple for the sake of this video next I'm using a Maron liquid body paint in the color black to go over my neck to give it more of a dramatic dark creepy look this is why I skip out of doing foundation on my neck usually and to make the look even a little bit more dramatic I'm going to put the remainder of my lip rings back in and this completes one of my basic androgynous goth looks using only mainly cheap products and most of the products that I use can be dupable and I've done it before in the past with cheaper products so any of you guys can do it just keep practicing and you'll get better and if any of you guys have any questions or advice leave it in the comment section below and if you're new welcome to my channel and be sure to subscribe